city desk, graveyard, basement. Conjures up images of Mickey's pulling my camera. What a laugh. Can you sweeten that up for me, skids? Sure, Johnny, sure. You're too green to have that, and I didn't see it. But thanks. Sure, sure. I'm gonna dry up in this town, skids. Dry up and blow away. Th that can't happen! Not to Johnny Tango! Not the guy who busted up the A Street Gang! That was a long time ago, skids. The most exciting thing that could happen in this one horse town is the horse dropping dead. I ain't that lucky. That guy that saved Dutch. Maybe see it through his eyes. <laughs> Same? You're kidding, right? Skidzer, he's my photographer. He tagged along when I got word that Mrs. McTavish's cat got his dumbass stuck in the tree again. I'm just trying to help. I've got you, kids. This is the fifth time I've been writing about that mangy cat. Dutch is the cat. The fellow Skids is talking about is the local Jake that pulled Dutch from the tree. Hey, maybe get Mrs. McTavish on animal abuse. The boss's mother-in-law? Hmm, scratch that idea. I just wish something would happen to this little bird. Something big. Nothing big will ever happen here. You've got to warn them. You've got to tell them. Okay, okay, settle down. Warn who? The people of this planet. Look, fella, I just handled Boise, Idaho. Please put the weapon down. I meant no harm. It's just water. The Revlock has escaped my home planet and is on its way to yours. And what's a Revlock? A terrible red creature from Ponsfar's future. The destroyer of worlds. So Ponsfar, that's where you come from? That is Ponsfar. It is located in what you would call the constellation of Virgo. What's your name? I am Daga Ankh. I'm a special officer to Secret Government Eatery. Top secret clearance. Eatery? Like a diner? Yes. You're a special officer for a secret government greasy spoon? Our cultures are very different. Yeah, but you better get me some hip boots if you want me to wade through that crap. You will not feel that way when the Revlog devours your tropical rainforests. But in my heart it always will remain. Would you stop that? 
Johnny, you're pissing him off. Pissing him? Look, he may be some kind of Martian, but he's got a screw loose. Don't you understand? Don't you care? Millions will die because a giant salad eater from your future is on his way? He's here! Surrender to the patient. I don't want to hurt anybody. I don't know what kind of fancy heater you got there. I'm sure these lead slugs will hurt plenty. <laughs> Sorry about that. All I want to do is take Mr. Aunt back to the hospital. Well, he ain't exactly our prisoner or anything. He's just telling us a tale. I'm sure he was. What kind of great evil was I this time? Vegetarian. A refreshing twist. Well, more like forest eater, devourer of worlds, that kind of thing. I hope he hasn't caused you any trouble. No, no, no trouble. But he is a bit loopy. Mr. Ankh is a paranoid delusional. He's not loopy. With the right treatment, he actually may be suitable for normal society. No, no! You can't let him take me! Mr. Ankh, this is for your He wants to kill me, I know too much! Are you guys really from Ponce Far? Ponce Far? Did you see that, Skids? Can you believe it? That was pretty amazing, Johnny, but is anybody gonna believe it? They will when they see your film. <laughs> yeah, I bet they will. We've got solid evidence. Rock solid. I want that film developed lickety split, you got me? You got it, Chief. I need some stills, too! This is gonna be the biggest story ever. Like I said before, I ain't that lucky. Thank you.